Hello everyone, this is Marky Joe 1990 and today I'm going to teach you how to insert and make maps for the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem games. Uh, first, let me show you all the programs that you're going to need for this. You're going to need Mappy. With all this crap, you can find this all at uh, Fire Emblem Universe Forms. It all comes in the same package, the Mappy stuff. Uh, you will also need a program called HXD Hex Editor. You can just Google that. <clears throat> Another program you will need is Nightmare Editor, and you will need the Nightmare modules that correspond with the Fire Emblem that you are hacking. Now let's get started. First what we're going to do is we're going to open up Mappy, and we are going to create a new map. See this right here? Each tile 32 pixels wide and 32 pixels high. You want to make it 16 by 16. Now as for the map size, you're really going to have to trial and error in this, but uh, the minimum map size is 15 by 10. And the maximum, I don't know for sure, but it's best not to go in the 40s area. Uh, for this sample, we're just going to do f uh, 20 by 20. Alright, so now it's telling us that we need to import graphics. So what we're going to do next is we're going to import graphics. We go to the Mappy, we use the, since I'm fi hacking Fire Emblem 7, we're going to use the FE7 tile sets. Now, you probably don't know what the hell these numbers mean. Well, simply put, this is where Nightmare comes in. <coughs> we open up Nightmare. We're going to open up our Fire Emblem. We're going to make a copy of the, of the normal one because this is a, a clean ROM and I don't want to fuck it up. We're going to use this copy. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to load a module. We're going to load the, mod the Nightmare module that is called um, Chapter Data Editor, right here. Now, basically... Oh, crap. Um... Let me go back to the Fire Emblem. Oh, yeah. Basically what these are is they're the object set 1, 2, palette, and tile configuration. So this one would have an object set of 0A. Object set 2 would be 0, 0. Palette would be 0B, and tile configuration would be 0C. Basically it goes in that order. Um, so let's see what 0A, 0, 0, 0, 0B, 0C would be. Okay, 0A, that would be Plains and Castle. 0B would be Plains and Castle Bright, so it would be a bright palette. And the tile configuration would be Plains and Castle. That w so that would be if you were to make a map that had Plains and Castle. So we're going to select that one anyway. And now is the fun part. We actually get to make our little map right here. Do 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 do. We're gonna make it full screen so that we can make this thing small, and we can stretch this thing out so that it's aligned properly like that. Now take note that if you change the entire window size, these things are gonna reconfigure themselves, and you'll have to adjust them again. Uh, so just for the hell of it, I'm just gonna just make a, a random map here. It's not going to be anything special. It's just going to be an ordinary map, 20 by 20 tiles. Um, not much to say here, really. I'm just doing my map. I probably should have prepared one beforehand, but I, I want to give you guys an idea of how a map will work, of how making a map will work. It's fairly common sense, but, you know, some people might not always catch on to it right away. Let's say we want to make a little castle here. We would do this. We would use these tiles. Then we would use this tile. This one. This one to make the top left corner. This one for the left wall. And we would use this one to make our little castle place. Well, let's add a floor. Uh, that would be an example of, of like a small castle. You can use these tiles in any way you wish. You can also make a village here, but you know what? I'm getting into it too much. Alright, next what you want to do is you want to save as. I'm going to use my FE Maps folder and we're going to use, we're going to name this tutorial. 
because this is a tutorial video. All right. Next, what you need to do is you need to export it. Check a map array, and if you want to see a screenshot of how your map's going to look like, select this one too, and then hit OK. It's going to tell you it takes a lot of disk space. However, it doesn't. Trust me on that. It takes like tiny. All right. Now we need to go to our mappy thing, FE Maps, and where is it? Ah, right here, tutorial.fmp. Now let's look for tutorial.mar. It's right here, and this this one would be our BMP file. See, that's how it looks like. So what we want to do is we want to use this MAR file and insert it into our ROM. So here's where HXD comes in. We're going to open up our ROM, which should be in my ROMs folder. Do, 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 blazing sword, copy. Now you're going to go all the way down, make a new line so that you can see the offset. All right, this is the offset is of which you're going to insert your map. Uh, if, if, what you, if when you make a new line, it's not this. Just use whatever offset you do find, all right? Because what you're intending to do is you want to insert your map at the very end of your uh, of your ROM file. So there you go. All right. Now here's where we gotta use a program called Mar Array Inserter in order to insert our map. So right here is the Mar interface. First, we gotta pick our MAR file. Since we're using tutorial, that's what we're going to use. So, FE modding tools. Where is it? Mappy. There it is. FE maps. We're going to go to tutorial.mar. Uh, now for our ROM, which is the copy of the clean ROM, Fire Emblem Blazing Sword.gba, which should be in here. Copy. All right. The map size, I said my map was 20 by 20, so that's what we're going to put here. And if you remember, the offset was 0, 01, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then you hit run. Oh, I need to close this program right here. And I also got to close H HXD. That's something you got to watch out for. Oh, now I got to wait. It's going to be a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, now it works. Okay, now that we have the map inserted into the ROM, now we gotta open up Nightmare. Open up our ROM just like before, which should be. Oh, whoops. Silly me. Blazing Sword, Blazing Sword copy, and then we gotta load the module for event references. So that'll be in the Fire Emblem modding tools. Nightmare modules event references which is right here since we're going to modify the prologue map this is the this is where we're gonna we're gonna go to this prologue map see this right here we're gonna put in the offset that we put our map however we're going to add 8 to this specific byte right here alright take note it's two numbers from the left so it's gonna be this one 1 plus 8 equals 9 then you apply your changes and then you save. There you go. And now for the final step, we are going to use the chapter data editor and we're going to set everything up properly. Now, remember this object set thingy? We have to set this accordingly. All right? Since this is the prologue chapter, we're going to use the prologue chapter and modify its settings. We're going to set it to planes and castle, none. Planes and Castle Bright because that was the tile set we used. And tile configuration, Planes and Castle. Now, if you remember, A, B, C, you know, this whole thing right here matches exactly the tile set we used to import in Mappy. So we hit, we go to Apply Changes and Save ROM. Of course, I press Enter and Control X to S to make things faster. And now we're going to see how it looks in Te Games. Blazing Sword, copy. Alright, we're going to send new file. We don't care. And look! There's our map! 
Alright, well, uh, thank you for looking at this tutorial. I'm MarkyJoe1990, signing out. Uh, if you have any further questions, let me know.